Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our kill the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart with the same height and reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. And it's the most fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, Weighing in at 205 pounds, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, you ready? You ready? Yeah. All right, so here we go. Close guard. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground shots. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this position. Job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 90 seconds and count. It's very, very dangerous position. There you, go. you gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta... And he's out. Guys, can you move? Let's go. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Strong bottom work here. Submission there, Rhymes, not that time. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, here we go. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, nice knee to the 
the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life. The offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground in, in half guard. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these. Grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. See the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Alex Hollitop. Hooray! So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did.